welcome to another episode of the Car Girl Show. My name is Jesse Kessel, and this is my co-host Janice Showers Janice from the Car Showers Girls. From the Car Girls, yes. Uh, and today we want to talk about a very important topic called how to influence people. Uh, this is something that I've struggled with <laughs> in the past, um, and I still do to some extent. I can be a very intense person. I'm a high performer. I, you know, I have I have vision, and I like to take action. And I like the people around me. Uh, I kind of hold them to the same standard. So I was talking to Janice because I I remember when I used to work for her. Uh, you know, we had a lot of projects going on at once and I didn't want to drop the ball, but I also relied on other people to kind of hand me, you know, certain work. And so my, my, you know, standard was, was very, very high. So you were barking at people basically. So so basically (laughs) I didn't understand, or I didn't, I didn't have the tools I needed. I had never been taught, you know, how to influence people to, to do the things that I needed them to do in, in a nice way. (laughs) Uh, to put it lightly, I think I was, because I'm so intense, I would just, you know, kind of, okay, I need this, 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 and this. And you often forget that, you know, you're talking to people, people who have their own lives, you know, you don't know what's happening on their end. There was, you know, some sick family members or they're having a bad day or other things are happening. And, you know, I wasn't being very uh, sensitive or aware, you know, that there was anybody I'm Anybody sure you're else? Not the only one, Jesse. Don't beat yourself up. Well, you know, I'm always. I, I want. I wanted to improve, but Janice came to me. I guess after a few people complained to me, <laughs> to Janice, and she said, "Oh, I have this book. I think that you would really, uh, and I benefit love this from, book from reading it. Yeah. yeah, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It's been around a long time. He actually has a training series. You know, my husband's work, which is a, uh, uh, you know, corporate Canada environment actually hired trainers from that company so they do go around and do um how to win friends and influence people training Uh, but there's a great book um that i love how to win friends and influence people so just we wanted to touch on that today and some of the points out of that book uh that you could use and certainly this is applicable as an employer as an employee um as a salesperson in a car dealership certainly we all want to know how to um win friends because people buy cars off their friends right yeah so one of the things because i was i was just you know putting some notes together and one of the things that the book talks about is uh being generous with giving praise yep i think that's overlooked a lot of the time because we expect people to do what we want them to do and to perform to a certain certain standard and you know that's that's an expectation from from a manager but I don't think we give enough praise to people when they do perform well. Or say thank you. Or just say thank you. You It's something Gary Vaynerchuk talks about, the thank you economy. And that that goes around thanking people and being genuine and appreciative and be generous with that. Be generous with your praise by thanking people, telling, recognizing when somebody has done a good job, even when it is small, it mm-hmm. means a lot. You know, I read people will do more for recognition when they will for money. So that says a lot. That people, does, yeah. People need a pat on the back. We're kind of like dogs. Please rub our heads. We need it. <laughs> and in sales, we tend to Good think boy. we tend to <laughs> we think need that it. everyone in work that works to a sales capacity is solely motivated by money. By money, and they're and not. That's, they're and that's not, not true. No. Be generous with your praise. So we've got that one. Yeah. Uh, The next one was... um, Remember their name. Oh, remember their name. Can I speak to this for a moment? Yes. Dale Carnegie says a person's name is more important, is the most important word to them in any language. Yeah. It's the sweetest sound, I think they said. (laughs) In any language. Yeah. So let's use people's names. And I certainly teach that, Jesse, in my phone training. I always remember this. A customer of mine, his name was Puthan Daunkamvanska. It's exactly how you say it. You remember that? (laughs) Absolutely. I sold him an Eagle Talon. That was a long time ago. And 
I had taken the time to, you know what, ageism and cultures, lots of things come into play here. Uh, this kid came in and paid cash for a car, and I think he dealt with me because I was one of the few people who spent the time with him to talk to him. I think a lot of people looked at him and thought, this guy can't buy a car. Mm. Uh, this guy had been working a minimum wage job for six or seven years and actually had the cash saved to buy the car. The bank made us prove it. So don't judge a book by its cover either. Right. Um, but learning somebody's name, learning his name made a big difference. And right. I, I teach that uh, in sales as well. And basic uh, phone 101. Pronouncing um, it correctly, spelling it correctly. And even tell if you, you how can't many pronounce it, uh, butcher it. Go ahead and say but it wrong. But then learn it. But then learn it. But then learn how to say yeah. it right. But skipping over it's not the solution. But just even using people's names. During and that's a on a daily, yeah. Jesse, have I got your attention yes <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah no it's true as soon as you say my name it's like, a small huh? thing it's a small thing but something yeah. that you can use in daily life yes uh, so what else we have the other one oh be genuinely interested in other people so i know in sales you know you have a million things on your mind like as soon as a customer walks in what you have to say what the sales process is all the stuff right of how it's supposed to go uh, but i think if you're authentic, people will recognize that right away. If all you're trying to do is sell someone off the bat, that'll come up as well um, very, very quickly to people. So be genuinely interested in in them shows, you know, you you are respecting them. You want to know about them because you already know about yourself, right? Be you already more, know about yourself. <laughs> be more interested than interesting. Yes. Okay? That's back to the basics in sales. But what's right. old we is hear new that again. Lot, yeah. Let's bring that back out, though. Be more interested than interesting. And that takes focus. And we have to remember to do that. And that goes for your employees as well um, and for your and for customers. Yeah. Uh, the next one is know the value of charm, which I believe means be charming <laughs> and know that there's value in being charming because especially in our industry, you know, you can buy a car anywhere, a new car, you can go anywhere. The price, you know, that's no longer Grant Cardone. Something. We're talking about yeah. him again. Yeah. People will pay for a good attitude. Good and attitude. That to they putting, like you, you yeah. know, put on the charm. It'll, it will set you apart, even though you feel like maybe there's a sea of other people, you know, out there. Um, there is a great, value. A great attitude, being happy, uh, smiling, simple. Yeah. Uh, and then be quick to acknowledge your own mistakes because mistakes happen all the time. And, you know, Dale Carnegie talks about language a lot and how you preface a sentence and saying, I could be wrong. But so when you're giving somebody your point of view, even when you know you're right, I could be wrong. You may be right but I see it this way. So it takes a sting out of it. So allowing other... Right. Because you, you don't want friction. Right? Like, friction is not going to lead you... Women, <laughs> to, are, I think, are better at that than men. Being being agreeable <laughs> or using the words, you know. Yeah. I, I agree. Guys, I think Just you acknowledging can work on this a yeah. little bit. I could be wrong. I see what you're saying. However... Oh, I, I can't tell you. Way. I mean, I've been into stores where salespeople have actually disagreed with me and then proceeded to tell me what I should get as if, as if I don't know, as if I haven't done a ton of research as you know, yeah. um, no, th this is what you need. And I don't, I, I never liked that, that type of approach. Even if I am wrong, I think there's a way to, to say it with a lot less, uh, friction. So great you know? book. It's a classic. Been around a long yeah. time. Kind of back to the basics. Um, but yeah, it, when it works. I think, I think when people ultimately feel listened to and acknowledged, they will be happier and they will be more willing to work with you to any capacity than, you know, if you just bark at them like I did. <laughs> <laughs> so you learned your lesson. I did. I learned my lesson. <laughs> Thanks, Janice. You're welcome. So, so yeah, Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie. <laughs> Google I got to read it again. <laughs> it's a good read. Yeah. It's a good read. Yeah. Well, yeah. that concludes thanks our for joining show. Us. So thanks for watching again. Make sure to comment, share, and like this video. And we'll catch you again on the next episode of The Car Girl Show. Thanks. Thanks, everyone.